Potts Lane. This train is the southern service to London Victoria. Well, welcome to Ingate Stone. <laughs> Uh, this is a little spot of Essex countryside and um, I've basically walked the entire length of Ingold Stone already in about 10 minutes. It's very quaint, it's very small, there's not a lot here but um, you know what, as we're on a journey today I thought it was like an apt time to talk about journeys and how we're all on different journeys like this gentleman here driving his Ferrari. Everybody's life is different you know and that's obvious I'm not preaching to you the obvious but you know it makes me think when I come to events like this that you know people have this expectation or this thought that you know it's really interesting traveling and doing educational pieces in different places um, and that I think in people's minds I go to like all these fancy places and it's very very interesting and actually it's not that generally it's just a little village in Essex for example and um, it seems like you know our traveling around educating people is, is this is this you know interesting and cool job and it is interesting and I do enjoy it I do enjoy it a lot but in all fairness quite often 98% of the time it's not that interesting nor is it that cool the big bonus for me is the actual people and helping people grow and become better hairdressers etc or earn more money is probably my biggest thing really. Um, so today we're going to be talking about earning more money or potentially earning more money or certainly setting that up for them and hopefully I'll be able to inspire some of them to go away and action some of the things that we talk about. I really detest noisy motorbikes. Anyway, um, but you know the journey thing is really the probably the crux of today's video and is that no matter where we are in our life, you know, unless we've achieved the zen, you know, of enough money and enough time and all those kind of things, we're always trying to level up, whatever you say about it. Um, and I think, you know, for me, it doesn't really matter where you are in that journey, providing you're still going forward, you know? Providing you're still pushing forward. Now, if you've stagnated and you're stuck, well, maybe then it's time to do something different. Maybe it's time to pivot. You don't have to leave. I mean, this is one thing that I find all the time, is that when people, you know, feel stuck in their industry, they want to leave that industry, they want to go and find something else to do, another job entirely, but they need to start back at the bottom or they've lost their passion for that industry and, and again they start back at the bottom and I think that's probably quite often a bit of a mistake because and that, uh, that, that alarm is really loud I wonder if it's coming over but anyway just I'm going to keep walking but this is where we're going tonight um, it looks like a very very nice salon indeed but um, I think one of the things that's like if you have some information if you have learned something about an industry or, or you know hair or whatever then you do have something to teach somebody who knows nothing or very little let's say a consumer so one of the things we're going to talk about tonight in this particular piece of education is, is sharing that knowledge and, and sharing your understanding of hair products and people's hair and how to help somebody because you know the, 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 one of the best things you could do then is sh use that information and share what you know um, there's a lot of things holding us back clearly there's a lot of things that hold people back from being able to share information freely. You know, it's, it, am I good enough? You know, should I be sharing this advice? You know, all these things that hold us back, but you know, they're not real actually. They're just not actually physically real. And for all intensive purposes, all you have to do is take that step. And when you take that step, well, good things happen. Now here's the other thing about being on the road like this as well. You just don't know what you're going to get to eat. There's nothing open here that's serving food. So it's hummus and cured meat. 
and bread rolls for dinner. Just a, just a perk of the job, you know? Do you want to hear a random metaphor? While I was sitting here eating my cured ham. <clears throat> the bread's a bit stale and this lemon hummus isn't very delicious. It's very tart. Now, on the floor down here are quite a few ants. And clearly the ants' job is to find food. They're going back and forth from that pile of bird poo picking bits of it up that obviously are edible to the ant. Like this little guy here. He was just going past this piece of bread that I put on the floor. Now I thought that maybe throwing some bread on the floor would be helpful to the ant, uh, ants. <clears throat> um, but you know what? I realised that the chunks that I offered them were too big for them to manage. And I suppose that's the metaphor here. Because it's a bit like when you teach somebody or show somebody something. If you don't show them just the right amount, if you give them too much, they can't use it. It's not helpful to them. It's too big, it's too unwieldy, it's not their, it's not their journey, it's not, it's not right for them. Whereas the tiny little bits of bread that I broke off and threw on the floor, and I mean crumbs, some of the ants have picked up and, you know, ruts scurried back to wherever they're living down here. And I think when you're going to teach somebody, sometimes you've got to remember that the crumbs build people to the big bits of information that really make a profound difference to them. It's sometimes hard to remember that. Anyway, profound thought. <clears throat> this can be beneficial, but I'm going to just go back to the baguette basics, the beginning really. Sorry, you, you do what you, you, you spend it on crack cooking. There we have it guys, a big big thank you to Norman from the Essex Hairdresser um, who hosts a plethora of events over the year um, on a Monday night which sounds fantastic. I mean, it's, the, it's really the first time uh, that I've ever been involved in any of it. Um, and a uh, big thank you to Kennedy's, the salon you just saw us in there. Uh, I've just got on the train. It's uh, 20 past, 25 past nine. I'll be home back in Brighton by about half past 11, maybe a bit later than that. Um, but, you know, back to my point earlier is that, you know, the journey that we're all on, um, if we want it, you know, we just have to go and do it, you know? And I know that sounds really cliche and bullshit, but it's the truth, hey?